All right, uh, welcome back here to the Camp and Gear Review Network. This is your host, Rob. Uh, since the hurricane come through, the uh, Banshee 300 did really good. Uh, leaked a little, like over by the one side of the door. Um, it's raining a little bit now, but it's about to get done here. Uh, it's supposed to rain again later today, and it's supposed to rain all week next week, I think. Um, I went ahead and... Uh, purchased the flex seal if I'm yeah it's the flex seal uh, clear spray let me get that in there so you can see that and uh, got the big can instead of the little can I went ahead and uh, sprayed uh, here on both sides of the doors here and then across the seam on both sides it left like it says it's supposed to be uh, clear but it left the white uh, residue there maybe I sprayed it too thick but uh, I sprayed it out with my finger too so so I can get some of that out but uh, I I did that on both sides over here of uh, that one piece going all the way down uh, for, I guess you call that like sort of like the ridge line and Sprayed in there, and then I wiped all the uh, water off of on to the inside. Uh, there was a puddle in the middle, and a puddle here by the door. And I was thinking over on the other side of the door, it's going to cause the same thing. But what I did here, because because to me it just looked like it was just getting a little loose up there on the seam, so I sprayed that there, and uh, uh, we'll see later on if it uh, leaks or not, and see if this actually does this job. The uh, Flex Seal uh, Clear Spray is only like 16 bucks for the whole can, and uh, it's actually a 14 ounce can. So uh, if it works, you know, hey, it's uh, cheaper to go this route than it is to waste your time and all that. But I mean, if you want to make your tent look right, then that's the way to go. But um, if you're out there and if you got a small can of this and if it's raining on you then I would use this if it works and just stay tuned and uh, we'll see how that goes all right welcome back here to the camping gear review network this is your host Rob um, after uh, it had rained after using the flex tail seal spray for the clear can um, I went ahead and sprayed on top of everything and I showed you that here that I sprayed where where it was leaking and it's and it feels like a rubber uh, uh, base in there I don't want to scratch at it too much because it has been raining I think this is better if you put it on when it's hot and then uh, you won't get as much but I mean as you can see I'm not that best at it and some of the rain, I think the rain fell off and made all that because that's just the uh, stuff there. So it has been raining a lot here. Um, tent's pretty dry right now. And as you can see, I did that where I tried to wipe it off there. But other than that, I mean, it's, uh, it's not the greatest, but, um, but it'll work for me. And uh, right now we just want to see if it leaked inside. I got the door down. And there's no water here. And over in that corner, there's no water over there either. So that's a win. Um, and as I was trying to say, this is a two-person two tent. I mean, a, a, uh, this is a, uh, sorry, this is a three-person tent, but it has an inner tent and an outer tent. And the original tent has, there's bugs up in there because they got in from here. The, this part here for the tension band system, the original tent that I have also is on the outside up here. So you would have to adjust it from up in this area instead of adjusting it up in there but this is pretty good I mean the uh, flex tail no sorry the flex seal actually worked so um, 
This is again your host Rob with the Camping Gear Review Network. Go ahead, give me that thumbs down. Tell me what you didn't like about the video, and I will get some more content out to you. Until next time, thanks again for watching.